Hey there guys, how's it going? So I apologize for not getting this video out any sooner. I've been a little bit crook over the last few days, or a bit sick for you people without the <laughs> Australian slang dictionary handy. Um, effectively, I was like, okay, I've seen some people completing this quest, number 13, which has been awesome. Um, a lot of people use Starlight, which makes sense because there's a booster on right now, and I was like, okay, that's great. If I can't make a video right now because I'm sick, I may as well come up with a different strategy. So I'm sort of at the point now where it's like, okay, may as well try and make a video again. And I'll show you guys what I sort of, let's say, found. Um, it's not too difficult, of course, it's just using Stroke of Midnight because Stroke of Midnight has um, nice slots that go with the recent High Squad Challenge medals. Um, if you picked up Zack in the most recent one, or Xemnas in the one before that, um, I think you can definitely pull off what I'm going to... Whoop! A little bit sick stuff. I'm going to show you right now, so... <laughs> um, I've got Sykes sitting out the front here, and he's literally here just for the buffs, and a, a good bit of damage, I will admit. Um, he's only a 6-star medal, I haven't actually evolved into 7 stars. Don't want to alienate too many people, but <laughs> I also don't have the fairies to do it. Did get some pretty good traits on him though, which you guys would have seen in my trait rolling video forever ago. Um, I only earned him most recently, so he wasn't, I didn't pull for him, I didn't spend any jewels on him whatsoever, so definitely happy to have him on the team. Um, Lingering Will, I just went and picked up, I think I picked up a copy like forever and ever ago at six stars. I must have got two copies because I spent a couple of Mickey brooms on this thing and evolved it. It came with Attack Boost 1, but that's all we need. <laughs> because in my case, he's only here to give me some upright strength and some speed strength. That's literally all I want him for. Um, Dalmatians on the back here. I went ahead and slapped Second Chance 2 on them. And with the skill perk that I've got, I think, if you time 60% by 1.38, it comes out at like 80-ish, some, some sort of number like that. So I think it's got about an 80% chance of succeeding and bringing us back to life. Uh, I, just did, <laughs> I just recorded this video just a second ago and I died, so I'm like, okay. That means that I've burnt away all my chances at second chance too, not working for a video, so. Um, yeah, but he's only there for gauge restore and to give me a second chance, basically. Luck Sword, same sort of deal. As good as a medal as this thing is, I went ahead and pulled for it probably in a bit of a haste. If you guys saw my pull video, <laughs> I was <laughs> rushing out the door to a wedding, didn't bother, you know. Anyway, um, I probably, well, I think I'm going to be using this thing a lot in PvP anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine pulling it. But this thing is really only here to give me magic-based strength for... Bob and Jack Jack, and now you might be saying, well, how the hell is this thing giving you magic based strength if it's coming after Bob and Jack Jack? The idea is that when an enemy's counter reaches zero and they retaliate and kill you, the turn didn't truly end, right? Because you only sort of tripped their counter and then died. The turn didn't technically end. So, therefore, all your buffs and debuffs are still applied in theory. So, I'm going to trip him up the first turn, come back to life, and then my Bob and Jack Jack will be significantly more powered up. He'll have the general strength from Sykes, um, the upright strength from Lingering Will, and its own upright strength and, you know, magic-based strength from Lock Sword. So, all I'm trying to do here is hit with these two medals. That's all I'm really trying to do. Um, I'm going to be bringing in a Sykes because it's got extra attack and ground, and it's a pretty good medal in its own right. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think it's too much of a difficult setup to try and replicate. Now, I know that's not strictly true. A lot of new players definitely won't be able to have gotten Sykes and definitely won't have the tier 8 fairies to do it. But I think a lot of veterans, if they spent their like fairies wisely, if they got lucky enough on their silver ticket pools, which, bless them, we've been getting a lot more silver ticket pools recently. Um, you know, we should be able to do this thing. Also, if you have any VIP medals, the VIP medals that like boost your PSM at the same time, boost your upright strength, give you gauges back and give you general strength. I think the one with like Toon Roxas, that thing looks incredible, and I think, like, as a free to, as a non-free-to-play player, if you have that thing, definitely use it, because you do, like, four medals worth of work in one medal, so go ahead and try that instead. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire this thing off. So, I'm only going to be using Lingering Wheel once, just for the speed strength. That's literally it. Just give me the speed strength, and then we're out. Um, I did get quite lucky on my Zack, and rolled extra attack on it, and I was like, okay, well, I've got extra attack. I'm more or less going to evolve this thing straight away, just because of how good that, that trait is. So, um, that's something that you guys might not have, obviously. I definitely, definitely understand that. Um, Bob and Jack Jack, I also understand if you don't have that as well, that was a more difficult one. But if you got like the Xemnas, the Xemnas that came out quite recently was very, very, very obtainable. And I really hope a lot of you guys were actually able to get a hold of that. Um, and maybe you can use that on the Starlight instead, or, you know, that would basically replicate what I'm doing right here. Um, Lux Sword, again, get his attack on him, but I'm not gonna use it just for the sake of the video. Shit. Okay, I actually didn't want that to happen, but oh well, whatever. Because now I actually have to tap on him, and don't get any damage off from Sykes. Oh well, whatever, that's, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so, back into it again. Um, I had to put an SP0 skill on Sykes, just because that's such an expensive metal otherwise. I might actually fail this one, because I um, didn't get any damage off him on, him on that third time. Okay, so, 
these guys are coming in, and now uh, Mr. Incredible here should be doing pretty good damage, just because he got the buff from... Yeah, that's not enough. Oh well. I might die here from no second chance anyway. No, second chance worked that time, okay. <laughs> of course it did. A little bit of damage there. Actually, I may as well use Lingering Will here. Am I at plus seven? Okay, I'm at plus seven upright anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it's gonna do a lot of damage, but probably not just enough, but we'll see. But yeah, I mean, I got pretty like unlucky in terms of how things work this time around. If you get much better luck, Close, pretty close. If you get better luck, you don't necessarily need these good metals, so let's run that again, because that never hurts to see it again. Obviously with random target metals, it's all down to luck anyway. Yeah, so I pulled for luck sword perhaps a little bit too hastily, but oh well, I think I'm going to use him in PvP anyway. Um, just with the extra attack that I rolled on him, I was like, okay, that's a PvP amazing metal right there, so I may as well evolve that thing. Um, I got so lucky in my, um, my fairy pulls yesterday. Ended up with like... Seven silver ticket pulls, and I got seven tier eight fairies from. It. I didn't get any tier eight fairies from my gold pulls, which is now, but I got seven from my silver tickets, which is like, what the hell? It's amazing. My phone cannot handle this animation, this damage. That's all right. Okay, so Luxor goes up once, and if he doesn't kill the enemies here, okay, then we should be able to tap on him, which is what I wanted to do the first time. Okay, cool. And now Sykes comes in and gets to do some damage, which is pretty cool. So you should take out the mooks for us, as well as hitting... Yeah, I only hit him once though. Okay, well, whatever. I beat it, I've beaten this a few times now, in demos, but... <laughs> Hopefully this works out. Alright. Sykes is back. So again, skip Lingering Green World this time around. Again, I'm only doing this like this because these are the medals that I had in my inventory, and I was like, okay, well, how can I make those work for me? Again, if you had a really good Zemnus, if you had a really good Sykes, there are other Keyblades with, like, reverse magic, the reverse power slots, rather. If you got a really good Sora and Simba, for example, um, upright speed is what you want instead, so make it work. Like, make it work for you. There's definitely, I definitely have faith that everyone can make this thing work. Um, obviously, it just helps if you have high score challenge medals and a few, you know, a few T-Rate right fairies lying around. I might actually use Lingering Will here. He's going to burn up three, but I actually don't need any for, for Zack at all. But I was only at plus six speed right then, so now I'll be at plus seven or plus eight, whatever, which should, you know, squeeze out a little bit more damage. And hopefully it's enough. It'll give me some upright as well. So hopefully this will be enough. Yes, it is. All right, beautiful. So there we go. <laughs> Luck sword all taken care of. Okay, and so I have one trait roll left to do on Luck sword. I may as well do it now with you guys on camera. So let's go ahead and pop him in. I tell you what, just for the joke of it, I'm going to wait till 7, 17, and 7 seconds to go ahead and roll this thing because that's only, <laughs> that's only 15 seconds away. So let's go ahead and wait till that out. 5, 6, 7. Let's go ahead and roll him in. <laughs> just for the joke of it. So yeah, I actually got a pretty good trait the first time around, which I was extremely, extremely lucky to get. Um, that's the kind of cool thing about organization members though, because you do get up to 5 trait rolls. Obviously you have 5 chances for free more or less, so... I wasn't even going to say it, I wasn't even going to say that I wanted that, but I really, really did want that. So, I now have the Holy Trinity on my Luxord. Wow. Wowie wow. Wowie <laughs> wow. Woo-wee! Okay. Okay. Should I just make a new account at this point? This account's getting pretty powerful now. I don't know how much help it's going to be. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. All the best. Bye. <laughs>